Police are trying to find the person who shot a man to death near Jackson High School. And tonight they have what could be a crucial piece of evidence. Friends of Albert Flowers told our Kylie Khan he was on Facebook Live when he was shot. At this point, I don't know for sure how many times he was shot, but uh, it's fair to say at least twice. Albert Flowers was found shot on 3rd Street between Washington and Michigan around 8 a.m. Police say he didn't live in the area and they don't know why he was there. They really don't have a whole lot much to release yet other than we have we have not made any arrests up to this point, um, but we're working on some potential leads right now. This is worse than, you know, finding out that, you know, somebody's dying from cancer. That's how bad it's getting here. Those who knew him say Flowers was a good man who loves spending time with his kids. They don't deserve this. Nobody deserves this. Nobody needs to, should find out that their son or daughter or uncle or aunt has been killed. Not like this, not like this. And they're growing tired of the violence. It's not the first time police have been called to that area. Every time you turn around, something is going on in Jackson. Either somebody's been shot, stabbed, robbed. It's getting so bad here. This is like a little mini Detroit, if not worse. Police say this was not a random shooting and that Flowers and the suspect had some sort of connection. We have reason to believe based upon some witness accounts that, uh, um, that there was some interaction between uh, the victim and, and the suspect prior to, to, to the shots being fired. Police are hoping Tuesday's autopsy will shed more light on what happened. Kylie Khan, Fox 47 News. Jackson High School is less than half a mile from the scene and it was put on lockdown for a little over an hour this morning. We'll let you know if police make an arrest.